I'm Zyx, and today we're gonna be doing another devlog. Seems like you really like that, so we're gonna be doing another one, and it's gonna be about the main menu, and we're gonna actually do some coding. Um, you can actually take some scripts, because I'm, I'm probably gonna redo most of the scripts later, and make them better, so do that if you want, and enjoy the video. works right now it's pretty good it actually has a hitbox unlike my old main menu script so if you press it like that it will still work and it's pretty good and I I kind of like it this is gonna be a weapon in my game a Glock 18c Basically, the C just means that you can uh, change it to uh, only semi-auto. Right now, it's a machine pistol. Basically. And I know there is no actual thing that doesn't really work. Like, there's no actual bar. I'll fix that later, but I think this is pretty good. Not gonna lie. And I'm not showing the real gun. Not right out. But I think this is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why the shells fly the other way around. It's supposed to fly to the right. But that's another thing that I'm gonna fix later. That's just some small details because it's not really finished. So yeah, but we're gonna show some other stuff. But we're also gonna be coding a made it so the main menu works. It's a small script. It's pretty easy to do. But we're gonna make a settings menu, so we're gonna add another script in here, take out hello world. And we're gonna go back here, and we're gonna make another, um, button. I'm just gonna move this down there. And then we're gonna... Then we're gonna add, like, an option to turn off shadows and stuff. Just for like player prefer um, preference. So we're gonna rename this and the last one. Then we're gonna down go down here, rename this to settings. There you go, settings. Make it a bit um, larger. You won't need that um this you can also make that smaller i recommend you get some kind of plugin that um scales it to other devices otherwise it wouldn't work on like a phone no not a phone like a device that has like a bigger screen so i, I do recommend that then we're gonna we're gonna just um duplicate that and we're going to remove that text button actually no we're gonna change that and we're gonna write settings again and then we're gonna put like a back arrow you just click and we're gonna write settings oh Wait, no, it should... Oh, that was the wrong one. But you see what I mean, right? 
do you just write um also there's a rich text option it's a new option don't press that or well, if you want to know what it does here yeah it makes it small and of course it makes it more high quality but it just doesn't really work with anything it only works if you're making like a chat system then you could probably get away with that but i don't recommend it unless you're making a chat system then you could probably use so yeah, it's the settings, and then we're just gonna do that again. Move, rename it to this character, and then you're gonna put that there. And then you got like something that kind of that looks kind of nice. Also, that image in the background, I edited that the stock image, and I made it look kind of nice on Photoshop kind of good. I might change it, but I think it looks kind of nice. We're gonna add a, that new script that we added. I recommend you name all your scripts, so we're gonna call this the play function. So play function. And then we're gonna call this the settings function. You can pause the video where, wherever you want if you want to copy some of the scripts, but we're going to go here and we're going to open the play function. So we're going to steal a bit of code, so we're just going to find the main GUI, so local main GUI, main GUI equals to script. Parent. And then you go local play, actually local settings, settings, okay, local set, what, local settings, settings. equals to main gui dot uh we have to rename this to one of these to settings so this one says play so this one is settings so we're gonna rename this to settings settings and then we're gonna write settings here and we'll find that. Then it's going. Then we're gonna um, settings, and it should do something. Yeah. So that's basically what I did. Then we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna put two lines down, it's just to make it look nice, I guess. You don't have to do that. Uh, in fact, I didn't do that on the last one. So that's, you know what, that looks better. But then we're gonna put settings button, settings, settings button, dot mouse, mouse. You have to write the, that. You have to write it all right, so. You have to write everything with the first um, letter as capital for everything to work. Then you have to put one up. Not totally not a Mario reference. Because both of I don't know why they put a Mario reference. And then just put one up. Colon. Connect. Then they're gonna ask you for a function, so we're gonna go function. And um, I forgot you have to do that. Uh, go there and go there. And you put this 
from that. There you go. And press N, and then there's gonna be an end. And then it will work, and then you have to put whatever you need inside there. So in our case, we're gonna go. We want this one. Yeah, we want this label, so we're gonna rename this to uh, background one. You don't have to do that, but it's just good to organize. Background two. Then we're gonna go back into our settings function. Script. And then we're gonna write this one pretty easy line of script. So we're gonna go main gy dot um, then we're gonna find a uh, background 2 background 2 and then we're gonna go down there and then we're going to put it's true visible I mean, visible equals true and we're gonna make another piece of another script after that, and then it. Sh this video was shortened quite a bit because it was a one-hour video, which I know nobody wants to watch a one-hour video. So I shortened it, and I'm gonna put it in three parts. You, it's coming out very soon, so go watch that too if you have time. Thanks.